Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, we are going on a little field trip to Whole Foods for my very first Whole Foods haul, and I'll be sharing with you some really great recipes too. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. Before today, I had not been very familiar with Whole Foods. I may have been in like one or two times in the past, but I never really shopped there. I have to say I was really impressed with their produce. Everything was abundant and fresh, and they had selections that I just don't have in my regular grocery store. Now their bakery was really awesome. The cakes were decorated beautifully like an upscale bakery, and they had so many different breads to choose from. I was also really surprised to see the pre-made food Food selection that they had. Now I don't usually buy prepared foods in the grocery store but they had so many different types with like a huge salad bar, soups, and complete meals. And that would be perfect for a quick night dinner. So I want to share with you what I picked up today at Whole Foods. I really didn't have a list with me today. I was just going to pick up a few things for dinner and just take a look around to see what they had. So I'll start with the things that I got in the bakery department. Honestly, to me, I think the bakery was the best thing about Whole Foods. This is definitely where I would order a cake for a special occasion. You know, we really do not have a ton of bakeries in our area. And locally, I think Whole Foods had the most beautiful cakes that I have seen anywhere around here. So I went ahead and brought home two birthday cupcakes to share with my hubby. Don't you think they look really good? To me, I think cupcakes are like the perfect dessert. That's never too much. It really just gives you a little bit of a taste of something sweet after your meal. I also picked up one of their hearth breads. They had so many different ones to choose from. And this one I thought would go really well with some baked ziti that I'm going to have a little bit later this week. I also like that it was like no problem for them to slice it up for me and bag it. I also picked up some brioche rolls for dinner tonight. I'm gonna to be making some bison burgers. Now this Nature's Own brand can be found in probably every grocery store, but I really like these buns a lot because they hold together no matter what you put on them. I picked up a case of LaCroix. I always like to have some in the house. Lime seems to be everyone's current favorite flavor. As I was wandering around the store, I picked up a few what I guess I would call specialty items. The first thing I got was some Aborio rice. This is what you use to make risotto. I wanted to try something in their 365 Whole Food Market brand, and I was running low, so I picked up an extra pound of rice. I thought this white balsamic vinegar was worth giving a try. I'm gonna be making some pasta salad tonight as part of our dinner, and I thought this would be a nice light vinegar to use in the dressing. I've been using a lot of jarred minced garlic for convenience sake lately, and I saw this organic pureed garlic, and I thought I would give that a try. And then I picked up a jar of this fancy strawberry preserves, and usually I am a Concord grape kind of girl, but you know, you have to branch out every now and then. I'm always on the search for different shaped pasta and I was able to find a box of Rotel or wagon wheels like I used to call it when I was a kid. I also got a couple boxes of small shells which is really great for mac and cheese. And then I picked up this Primal Kitchen, no dairy, vodka sauce. Vodka sauce is one of my favorite alternative pasta sauces and I always like to try different kinds. Since I'm making bison burgers and pasta salad for dinner tonight, I needed to pick up a couple pounds of bison, which was surprisingly cheaper at Whole Foods than at my local grocery store where I pay, I think like $11.99 per pound and Whole Foods had it for $9.99 a pound. Down the produce aisle, I picked up these beautiful heirloom tomatoes. I've never really seen them this time of year and I only can find them, you know, in the summertime, but I thought these were really beautiful and they were heavy tomatoes. The heavier tomato, the more flavorful. I picked up a couple really nice avocados. I always like a little bit of avocado on my burgers and I also picked up a small head of broccoli to go in my pasta salad. The last thing I picked up today was some shredded lettuce for tacos that we're going to have on Friday. And that's everything that I picked up at Whole Foods. 
So now that I've been to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, these are what I would really call like specialty grocery stores. For me, I would have to say that if I had to choose just one, it would totally be Trader Joe's. They had beautiful produce there as well, and they had such a huge selection of foods that I just can't find in my regular grocery store, and I didn't really see in Whole Foods either. And I think that they just fit more um, with my family's diet and what we really love to eat. Now, as far as bakeries goes, Whole Foods wins hands down from any grocery store that I've ever been in so far. So our next grocery store field trip is going to be to Wegmans. Now, I haven't been there in years. We kind of have a contentious relationship from past experiences, but I am ready to give them another try. So check back in a couple weeks for my Wegmans field trip. So first up today, we are going to be making pasta salad. I love pasta salads because they are really quick to put together. You can use whatever you have in your refrigerator at the time, and they are really a great addition to somebody's lunchbox. Today, we're going to be using some cucumbers, red and green bell pepper, broccoli. I always have a package of shredded carrots on hand. We're also going to be using that vegetable pasta that I found at Trader Joe's a few weeks ago. For the dressing, I'll be using the white balsamic vinegar from Whole Foods and a packet of Good Seasons Italian dressing mix. I'm getting a big pot of salted water on the stove to boil for the pasta, and then we're going to start to chop up all the vegetables. Now, I just brought this pasta salad to my adopted son's wedding this past weekend. I call him my adopted son because he pretty much grew up in our house, and I couldn't love him anymore if he was my own boy. It was really great to be all together for such a happy occasion. The wedding was awesome. It was outside and had this fairy forest theme so everything was just so beautiful and I loved being there my boys are at that age where their friends are starting to get married and it's really something to see if I have any advice for young moms it's to open your house up to your kids friends be the place where everybody gathers have pizza parties every Friday night with them and be that mom that drives everyone home you will not be sorry it is such a gift to watch these kids grow up grow together and start lives of their own so I bet you didn't think I was gonna get so weepy over my pasta salad but you know sometimes these things just sneak up on me so I'm really sorry about that anyways once you get all of your vegetables chopped up, add them to a big bowl. Now I like to put the broccoli in the colander and once the pasta is all done cooking, I drain it over the broccoli which blanches it the perfect amount to soften it up for the salad. I went ahead and added about a half a can of corn to the salad. You know, honestly, you can add just about anything you want. This is also great if you add some sweet peas, black beans, and I always end up adding some type of cheese and sliced grape tomatoes. So go ahead and add your broccoli and pasta to your bowl. Begin to mix everything up. Sometimes I add a little extra seasonings like Mrs. Dash and a little extra garlic powder, but that's all according to your own taste. So once it's all mixing, whatever else you want to add, and your pasta is basically done. Just cover it up with some plastic wrap and tin foil. Stick it in the fridge until you're ready to serve. While the pasta salad is cooling in the fridge, we're going to start on our bison burgers. Now, I will be using both packages for our burgers today. I always add some salt and pepper, some ranch dressing mix. This is my homemade ranch dressing. I will try and link the video where I share this recipe, but if you don't have homemade, no biggie. You can just use, you know, the packaged kind. And I also add about a half a tablespoon or so of minced onion. I always used to wrestle with these little packages of bison meat, so what I figured out was I would turn the package over and cut a diagonal in the back and push the meat out that way. It seems to be the less messy of options, so that is my helpful bison tip for you. 
So you want to add the packages of meat to a mixing bowl and add your spices. I usually add about three tablespoons of the ranch dressing mix and about a half tablespoon or so of the minced onion. I've also added chopped red and green bell peppers to this recipe, which is really good. And you can use all of those grilling spices. They really make a great hamburger as well. So just form the meat into patties and fry them up in a little bit of olive oil and a touch of butter. I like my burgers well done, so I cook them maybe like five or six minutes per side. In the last few minutes of cooking, I always add a slice or two of cheddar cheese and cook that until it melts and your bison burger is done. I sliced up one of those beautiful heirloom tomatoes and added some avocado to my burger and we are ready to eat. This pasta salad is so good. I like to keep the dressing as light as I can so that all the flavors of the veggies can come through and together with the burgers, it really does make a great meal. So thank you all so much for watching today. If you are new here and you like DIY, decor, organizing, cooking, and planning videos, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe so you don't miss our next upcoming field trip. Join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which grocery store is your favorite and why you love it so much. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, pray for peace, and I will see you again soon. Bye.